Special forces are called in to take care of some of the most difficult jobs around the world. These guys aren't trained to cuddle on the weekends or watch the notebook on your sofa. They got one thing on their mind and that's to accomplish the mission they're sent out to take care of. Some of these things might include missions of sabotage, hostage rescue, and so on. We've talked about some American special forces in previous videos, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ones you may have not heard about already. From the insane training methods of the Red Berets of Belarus to the stealthy Yag Commandos of Austria. Here are the most elite special forces. Are you guys ready for another action-packed American Eye video? Let's get on to it. But first, big shout out goes to Nuclear Wayne for answering our question about World War II memorabilia. That must be quite the interesting antique, and if you're watching, tell us more about it in the comment section. Number 10. Belgian Special Forces The Belgian Special Forces are an elite few who must have at least three years prior military experience, more often than not, as a paramilitary unit. They must be able to make it past the grueling selection phase where candidates are tested on their physical condition, map reading capabilities, general military knowledge, and shooting abilities. A psychological screening is also necessary in order to make sure their secrets stay with them. During basic training, they're expected to almost be experts in survival skills and more emphasis is placed on physical training. A lot of training is done to push the candidates to their mental breaking point to see how tough they actually are. Belgium is a manufacturer of some fine weaponry and it shouldn't come as a huge surprise that these special forces are armed to the teeth with state-of-the-art gear. Here we see a Belgian special forces soldier equipped with a silent scar rifle at a weapons range in the country of Jordan. Number 9. The Polish Grom The JW Grom, as they're known by, are almost like surgeons on the battlefield. That's because many of them are actually extensively trained with medical knowledge and training. The group was modeled and trained in a similar fashion to other NATO special ops squads, such as the US's Delta Force, which we mentioned in previous videos. They've been quite active since 1990 when they first were established. A psychologically demanding exam is also given in order to weed out less mentally strong candidates. Only a small amount of applicants will get the chance to be an elite Polish fighting machine and conduct stealth operations. When a coup d'etat took place in the country of Haiti, the US, Poland, and Argentina special forces combined efforts to remove the military regime that took over. They've engaged in many combats that the US could have used some reinforcements for and are equipped with many weapons that are popular in Israel. This includes things such as the Desert Eagle and the Rafael Spike anti-tank missile. Number 8. Iranian Green Berets The Iranian Special Forces have some good sense and fashion when it comes to picking out a good color beret. Also known as the 65th Airborne Special Forces, Iran proved to be a difficult country to invade during the Iran-Iraq War thanks to these Special Forces. In 1953, Iran received paramilitary training by France and they eventually evolved since that point of time to become a force even the US doesn't want to deal with. You would assume the US and NATO would be more careful about who they train in advanced warfare tactics. A lot of their upbringing is similar to US standards, being trained specifically in hostage rescue, counterterrorism, reconnaissance, and various different environments. During summer, the brigade will have to train in the jungles of Kerala Dasht, which is typically at a cooler temperature during this time of year. During winter, they migrate to a ski resort in Imam Zada Hashem, where they must deal with harsh snowy conditions. Number 7. North Korean Special Forces Although they may not be equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry, we have to assume that North Korea has a pretty advanced group of dedicated elite soldiers. They must be ready to do whatever Kim Jong-un says so. Kim Il-sung once said, This is the strongest elite force of the entire Korean People's Army and is the unique vanguard of the armed forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. So basically, we're assuming the best of the best is given the best equipment the country has to offer. They're known to use exact copies of US guns, such as the M16A1, when North Koreans were caught during a spy mission known as the Gang Nung Incident. While the vast majority of North Koreans were either captured or executed, it's believed that one of them made it back home. The special forces are likely well-trained in submarine combat and commanding midget submarines, such as the one we see here in this photo. Number 6. Belarusian Red Berets you might have heard of the Green Berets in the US and Iran, but are you familiar with the Red Berets of Belarus? 
The Spanish used Red Berets in the First Carlist War, and it caught on for some other countries too. But the Red Berets of the Belarusians are not known for their cool hats. They also partake in some bizarre train as well that's not for the faint of heart. Here in this photo, we see a Red Beret give one heck of a headbutt through some flaming bricks. They also receive similar training to Spetsnaz Special Forces in Russia and typically expected to be fearless ninjas that use sheer brute force. They're well trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and they probably have to bleed occasionally, it happens. Number 5. Thailand How many other jobs offer you the chance to drink Cobra blood? Well, the US military does and this is something the recruiter needs to start informing potential recruits about. During a joint military exercise in Thailand, US Marines learned how drinking Cobra blood could be an essential survival tool while being lost in the jungle. The Thai Royal Marines are getting trained more and more often with the US, likely in a joint effort to fight off China in case World War III breaks out. While other countries like Vietnam have decided to go the communist route, we make sure that other countries in the area know all about freedom, democracy, and the proper way to drink a beer. The Royal Thai Marine Corps is almost like a special force of their own and they've received good firepower to help fight off not only the commies but also terrorist groups that keep popping up in the area. Be sure to keep those Thai beaches safe so we can enjoy a good Mai Tai in peace. Number 3. Austrian Special Forces – Jagdkommando Jagdkommando typically translates to the hunting force in German and that's basically what this elite group is trained to do. The name originates from World War I when small assault squads were called in to do some hunting of the human variety, but you might also be familiar with a knife that goes by the same name. The knives on Amazon can go for as much as a thousand bucks and the more expensive ones are made of titanium with a fixed tri-edge. Similar to American Special Forces, the Yogg Commando are heavily trained in things such as counterterrorism and counterinsurgency. Often equipped with the Austrian-made Og Bullpup assault rifle, these human hunters are ready to take care of business no matter which environment they get deployed to. Other equipment in their arsenal consists of Barrett 50 cal sniper rifles and the P90 submachine gun. Occasionally, they might arrive to their office in a Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. Since a large portion of the country consists of Alps, getting soldiers used to the altitude can be one of their greater challenges during training. Number 2. Republic of Korea Army Special Warfare Command This soldier here from South Korea, equipped with an assault rifle, is also trained in icy conditions. If you were an enemy and saw something like this pop up from a frozen lake, you'd probably run in the opposite direction immediately. Since the US and South Korea are close allies, they often take part in joint exercises in order to get used to some language barriers in case communication is necessary. This is what militaries like to do when they get together to have a party. The Americans got to join in on the Winter Wonderland Festival with South Korea during a joint military exercise that you can see in this photo. Many are trained at Camp Kim in the capital city of Seoul where many Americans are also stationed. They typically focus on defensive strategies considering the fact that there's another Kim to the north who's a little bit unstable. One part of this brigade focuses especially on assassinations and would be deployed to Pyongyang to take out their head of state. These special commandos have even received training from elite groups such as the Navy SEALs, known as SEAL Team 6. But first, before we get to our number one, let us know about some other special forces outside the US that we didn't mention already in this video or in our previous videos and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 1. Georgian Special Forces Georgian Special Forces had received military training in similar fashion to the infamous Spetsnaz Special Forces after being controlled by the Soviet Union. Now that they're their own country at the moment, they've had to put their knowledge to the test. They're well trained in things such as long-range recon, military counterintelligence, counterterrorism, and even psychological warfare. There's been quite a bit of political instability in the area ever since the country was formed and the Special Forces were quickly put into action. During the Battle of Gagra, the Special Forces gained some experience and reclaimed the Black Sea Resort Town under their control. Separatists that were funded by Russia triggered a civil war and Georgians claimed to have taken out anywhere from 3 to 4,000 insurgents during this battle. This not only helped them put an end to the problem, but more importantly, helped them get on our list today. So which one did you think was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section and we'll see you next time.